Hello everyone out in Patreon land. This is Tom here and as you can tell by my wardrobe I'm at work and uh, my friend uh, Noel is going to give you some advice today about how to practice kanji and how to memorize kanji. So hold on. Right, so Noel is here studying kanji and what, let me see, let's have a look here at what you're doing first. Okay, so for example, um, what's this top how, at the top? How I study my kanji right here. I usually try to read in depth a little more on the kunyomi and onyomi, mm -hmm. so that I remember the reading almost like by heart. Mm -hmm. Also, sometimes with certain kanji, it's possible to turn a very difficult looking kanji into something very easy. Mm -hmm. So this is what you would imagine, something like, for example, um, suwaru no suwa. Mm -hmm. Suwaru no suwa, this, this part here basically mm -hmm. looks like a roof. All right. Uh, this right here, this area, mm -hmm. looks like um, the seats. Mm -hmm. This thing right here, it looks like it's holding up the roof. And these, it's basically the kanji for hito. So, or right. person, people, person. And they're sitting at the seat. Mm -hmm. So, it, it started becoming very easy for me. Um, in terms of stroke order, mm -hmm. uh, I would say that math, in, in math, there's like um, an order of operations kind of thing that you have to do. For example, in PEMDAS. Yep, learning the stroke orders, yes. yeah. So remembering the stroke order helps too. So how many times do you, how many times, uh, how many times do you feel you have to write a kanji before you can remember it? Um, I would try not to write this certain kanji way too many times. Mm. Usually the maximum amount of times I would try to write it is usually up to five times, mm. I would say. The minimum I would say is at least three times because what? I have a question. Oh, I have a question. No, no, no worries. What kanjis can you write from memory right here? Uh, well, let's try this. This is a little test. No pressure. If you mess up, no worries. Yes. Okay. That's fine. Um, okay. So. Uh, he is writing Benkyo. This is a guy who studies. Benkyo. Nice. Focusing on that. Ooh, I know what's going on here. You're doing good. Benchu. Excellent. Benchu, Benkyo, Benchu. So Benkyo is study, Benchu is practice. <laughs> good, good, good. Yep. How long? Uh, how long ago did you learn those? those two? Uh, I would say maybe a couple of weeks ago, but I did know these kanji mm -hmm. for a while now. It's just that writing it out, it just sometimes it's just very difficult for me, mm. but uh, reviewing it again over time really helps. Uh, I have a question, I have a question. Yes. Um, before you came to Japan, mm -hmm. well, two questions. How long have you been here now? I've been here since September, so maybe about Three-ish months. Three three-ish months, and you've yeah. been you've been taking the the, the, the language courses here. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> and um, how much and how much and how long did you study before you came here? How much like uh, like I like I didn't have I didn't have any Japanese background before I came here. But you actually studied at university before you came here, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so what kind of stuff and how long did you study? I studied for about four years. It's just that, uh, I guess in a way, my, um, I started off in a community college, mm -hmm. but then when I started uh, at a, my other college, not the community college. Yeah, the one after, I, I did to, the yes, same thing. I yeah. had to review certain things again because mm -hmm. uh, I guess they wanted to throw me on track with the other students as mm -hmm. well, as well as um, make sure that I'm learning the content in a certain way. So that how many the school wants how many years learn. before? Uh, I mean, I know you did not intensively all year all yeah. studying, but I mean, about how many years have did you study before you came to Japan? Mm, just about four. Just about four. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. 
Excellent. So this has been an interesting uh, little mini lesson with Noel here mm -hmm. and a uh, little uh, good advice about learning kanji and, yes. and whatnot. And uh, the people who watch this channel, this will be really interesting for them. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Uh, to basically cut things short, trust me, if you treat kanji practices not like an obligation because you have an exam or a test or quiz mm -hmm. next week or tomorrow or what whatnot. Mm -hmm. If you treat it more like a hobby, it becomes even more exciting. And trust. Uh, and on a side note, try doing calligraphy. Oh, yeah, calligraphy yeah. is actually really relaxing. Mm -hmm. You can also potentially practice your kanji that way Definitely. too once you learn how to do the strokes mm -hmm. and then eventually it kanji just becomes like a walk in the park part of after. it yeah and mm -hmm. uh the other thing i always say oh i already put my book away but reading if you get some manga or even mm -hmm. over here we found there's uh, books on the bookshelf uh, uh fairly easy to read but uh, mm -hmm. reading is another fun way to study kanji and like he said make it a hobby make it fun mm -hmm. all right cool yeah anything you want to say last last word well, last words, um, eat well, sleep well, drink uh, plenty of fluids, and... Avoid getting a fever. Avoid getting a fever. <laughs> right. Peace. Yep.